What have I been busy with? Getting your mother's uh, talents to sew me a plushie. That's what. Because your mom's pretty skilled with her hands and her crocheting and all that. Yeah. Anyway, um, <clears throat> uh, what I have been busy with is, uh, well, first, my education, getting that done, which is pretty cool. Uh, although I almost missed my whole first week of uh, an online class because uh, I was looking in the wrong place and my teacher was like, don't be such a dumbass, I'm giving you an extra day. And I was like, thank you, I'm a big dummy for not knowing where to look. And then I looked in the right place and I did all my homework in a day. And it had to do with, like, riddles. And this is a really weird mushroom balloon bu uh, bubble thing. Fucking bubbles, man! At least you can get a lot of points here. I bet you could get, like, the all-time highest score just right here by collecting all these mushroom bubbles that I am failing to collect. Yeah, yeah. Such a jolly game it is. Dinosaur Dragon Wave! Yeah, 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 it's right there. Calm your butt. So anyway, uh, I wasn't calming my butt when I was on that online class because holy crap, realizing that you are almost a full week behind in a college level class is not a very good place to be. And for forget you, Chocolate Island 2. We'll come back to you. I got more things to do. I just opened up the bowels of the Bowser uh, thingy, this, this place. I mean, come on. Valley of Bowser 1. The valley is so big, it needs to be numbered. <laughs> Not looking so tough, are you now, Jim Sterling? <laughs> Trapped in my pink block brigade. Anyway, um, by the way, if you don't know, if you want to keep up with all my updates and mole catching, feel free to follow me on Twitter. I don't normally say follow me on Twitter, follow me on this, or subscribe because I need money. But uh, seriously, though, I'm enjoying using my Twitter more than I thought I was going to. I'm usually pretty dubious of like social media interactions because uh, you know they suck but in this case it's actually kind of fun because I can be like hey look at my legs I'm going to a job interview and uh, I do have wonderful legs. There was a mole in there before it's gone now there was a mole in the hole it's gone now so follow me on Twitter if you can if uh, you're not like me and are like fuck you don't tell me what to do mom because you know that's just not who I am. Oh, that was a nice little nose bump they had there. We got to watch that special moment. It's like an animal discovery channel. And here we see the mole, smug with his Kamina sunglasses, going forward. Here we have the average weeaboo fan, thinking that he is all tough and shit for wearing anime stuff that the cool kids won't understand. Little does he know that he is actually just shuffling along through life, attempting, trying to find a mate. Ha oh. ha. Look at him, and he has found one, and another, but these casual encounters do not uh, satisfy until he has a mole nose up his butt and he steps on my ass! <laughs> um, what was I saying? Anyway, so I'm busy with school. You know, I, uh, I'm taking, <laughs> that makes me happy every time I see it. Um, I'm taking a storytelling class, which I'm I've got to do a story tomorrow. I'm going to tell the story about that time I went to Canada and there was that Mexican guy behind me on the plane and they're like, sir, are you cheating on your wife? And he's like, yes. And then they're like, well, we don't care, sir. Just tell us if you're cheating on your wife. And he's like, yeah. And they said, oh, sir, you're a bad person. He's like, I know. And then I saw him when I was coming back from the airport. Like three days later, I saw him in the airport with his girlfriend that he had been cheating on his wife with. And we just had this moment like, oh my God, no, it's you again. <coughs> So, that happened. So I'm going to tell a story about that. I still need to bullet point it and outline it and stuff like that. It's a it's a storytelling class, so you can't, like, you can't have, like, note cards up there because there's a very interesting concept that I'm, I hope this is going to make my own commentary much better. And that is a concept known as non-reversible time. And that's something I think I have a big problem with on some of my videos. And that's when, if you're telling a story, the per- Ooh, I love that moon. When you're telling a story, don't stop to go back and correct yourself. Look at that mole cubed. Um, don't go back to correct yourself, even though I just did. Um, because it hurts the, the flow of the story. I wasn't even looking at my computer, and I just kind of saw the mole coming at me in the corner of my eye. I'm just like, eh, jump. I was kind of looking off to the side. 
Non-reversible time, don't correct yourself. If you say, oh yeah, me and my cousin Bob, oh wait, I'm sorry, my cousin's name wasn't Bob, it was Billy. And it's not Billy, I'm sorry, it was uh, Bobby. Bobby's my cousin Bob Billy's name. It's like, nobody fucking cares. Nobody's gonna fact check you about what your cousin's name is. No one's gonna go into your family genealogy and go, hey, wait a minute there, your cousin's name isn't Joe, Jim, Bob, Hank. It's actually Frank. It's like, oh, I felt his whiskers in my uvula. Ugh, there's a word people think are dirty. You fucker. Um, yeah, so non-reversible time. Don't repeat yourself and go back and be like, oh no, it wasn't actually like that. And I have a problem with that. I have a big problem with that sometimes where I'm just like, I want to get my facts straight. I want to tell it, but... You're, uh, you're so concerned about telling a factually correct story that you're hurting the story. Whoa! I'm on my game today. Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah. Be brave, you... Ugh. If you fall down that hole, you die. As he... Oh, no. I hate this place. Valley of Bowser. More like caverns of... Bowsers. That was, a. Uh, am a college-educated person, and that's... The kind of joke that we come up with, you know, that's that's the standard, the gold standard that we all hold ourselves to. Hey, it's something that I'm gonna fail at. It must be life. Eh. Oh, I can. Ne I've never been able to get more than one of those ever. <gasps> I can't say that again because I got more than one of them. <laughs> So, you know, taking the storytelling class, learning a lot about how m this mole hole is screwing me. And, uh, I'm really looking forward to getting a good grade because I'm a natural-born storyteller. If I wasn't, I wouldn't have had the energy to record commentary for five fucking years or whatever it is at this point. <sighs> By the way, congratulations to me for almost running out of time. Uh, congratulations to me. Just a little tiny pat on the back. Oh, I love... I love the music and how it goes to the moles, like, running around. That's great. A uh, little congratulations to me. I recently... Dun, 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 you shouldn't be able to do that. I recently reached uh, 1,700 subscribers. Hey! I think not even barely half of that is active. Um, but, hey, I hit that number. Numbers mean stuff, I guess. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. Never. You think I'm gonna die? You Ooh, you don't even know who I am, Mom. Where's the exit in that? I'm completely flummoxed. Yes, flummoxed. I said it. I'm not infallible. <laughs> five seconds. Not even five seconds into the fucking level. And... Uh, okay. Let's try that again. Here? No. There's just something calming about watching those moles walk. I don't know what it is. It's just like... They've got their own little rhythm. It's almost like you could put anything to that mole walk, you know? And it would just go with it. Why, why are moles and football players the enemies in this level? Are they natural, like... Do they have a symbiotic relationship where the, the football players just naturally get along with the moles? You know, is that is it like a, a football player and his coach kind of relationship? You know, is it kind of the fat, corrupt, sunglass-wearing, nose fucker? You know, is, and, the, uh, and the football people? Is that what's going on? What's going on? Hey, <laughs> you're going on. I'm so glad that they don't hurt you. Like, when they're already flying through the air and they've already been killed... Touching them doesn't kill you. That's nice. That's real nice. All right. Mm. Come on. Where is? Ah ha 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 ha! Ho ho ho! He he he! See, they try to trick you. They really try to trick you with this uh, that thing, the the beanstalk. They're like, that was pretty impressive. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I'm not above self compliments. Yes, twenty six. Ooh, that was good. Woo. Yep, yep, yep. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Good shit. I'm coming for you, big man. Coming for you. Uh, is that the name of your casino? Just Bowser? Is it like the the 
the Wayne Newton Casino. I hope so. I hope there's gambling. And not hookers, not pole dancers, but I hope there are classy women who just like to gamble. Because those are my favorite kind. Kind. I almost said kind, like kinda. But I meant kind as in that particular type of woman who enjoys such activities is the kind of woman whose qualities I do enjoy spending time around. Yeah.